Hey guys, so today's video is starting off a little bit different. It is me and my car. Steering wheel looks a little dirty, that's weird, like from foundation and stuff in my hands, whatever. So today's video is starting in my car because I am taking you guys with me shopping and showing you like how I shop and like what I buy and stuff. So I just want to kind of teach you guys where to find the best deals and how to find the best deals and how to spend less when grocery shopping because that is definitely something that I look for because I am a college student and I'm not like a broke college student but I'm not like a, oh I got money college student you know. I'm going to be like telling you guys about all that stuff today and I wanted to kind of like drive and vlog but my camera's probably going to fall so that's not we're not doing that. Basically you want to look for the best deals ahead of time so I always look at sales papers um, because I get the newspaper but if you don't get the newspaper they always have their weekly ads on um your phone like on the internet so you can look up their websites for the grocery stores that are like near you and they will have the ad like right on their grocery store website so I'm going to show you. Super King is one of the grocery stores that I go to and I just quickly pulled up their ad and they have broccoli three pounds for 99 cents which is so basically the ads will look something like this and you could just scroll and look at all of what they have for sale or what's on sale that week um, and you can do that for any grocery store um, I think almost all of them have like the online um, ads and you can check them out that way so what I do is I do this beforehand like before I go shopping I will look at all of the ads for all of the grocery stores and I'll make a list in my phone of things that I need to buy um, for my particular lifestyle slash diet that I'm doing and I'll make a list of foods that I want to buy and I'll put um, what store has it the cheapest so usually I have to go to like two or three stores to get all of my groceries but I'm fine with that because if it saves money it saves money um, and I'll be posting a list of stores that I know of that have um, cheaper produce down below in the description box for you guys I did my research on this so um, you know I have stores that are not just in California I have stores that are in other places too where you guys might be um, you could check it out um, but basically you have to look for the best deals and I would suggest just staying away from stores like Ralph's when it comes to vegetables because they don't tend to have the best deals for that they're they tend to be more expensive I usually go to Super King for my vegetables Ralph's for my meat and then I'll go to Trader Joe's for like little things so like almond milk because I really like their almond milk um, they have this like cauliflower rice that I like there as well so I'll go there for little things like that for the most part I tend to stick with Super King and Ralph's but like I said you really need to just look at all the grocery stores in your area and figure out which one has the best deals for the week let's get started with this thing and my hair is really messy like I need to get on my hair I just wake up and I like take a shower and I'm just like nah like hair can wait and I need, I need to stop doing that because then I come on camera and I'm like oh I forgot to do my hair and it's just bye see you at the store so I just got here but I'm putting my keys and my bag so I don't have to hold them and I could be hands-free while shopping showing you guys what I buy and how I buy so let's go Sleep. 
awkward, but it's okay. We're gonna pass this. So I kind of have my basket on the floor because uh, it's kind of heavy. So I just left the store and I only paid seven dollars for all that stuff that I had. Right now we're in big office. I'm gonna show you guys where I get my Tupperware containers for meal prepping. I like one here because it's way cheaper than like buying them from like Target. I buy all of my containers from and they are $2.25 like per pack and you get three. I'm actually looking for the ones that have like the dividers in it. This is where I usually buy my meat from and I usually just get chicken um, from here so that's what I'm gonna get right now. Just now leaving Ralph's and as you guys can tell like the pricing difference is so like much more than um Super King so that's why I only get my meat from Ralph's because it's really expensive like the produce so yeah I'm like walking back to my car it's like my little shopping trip for today I hope you guys enjoyed this video slash you're still enjoying this video I'm gonna go back to my house and film a small little sit down portion of this video. Hey guys, so I am back at home and I just wanted to kind of quickly wrap up this video and tell you guys about the comparisons that I saw at the different stores that I went to and that I took you to and stuff. I like to research them first, so I did research the stores like I said and I determined that Super King had the best deals for the vegetables and Ralph's typically has the best deals for the meat that I buy. Um, and so I only went to those two stores. My hair is still pretty gnarly, sorry guys. So before my camera dies, I'm going to quickly show you guys what I got from Super King. And before somebody says it, because my last video, somebody was like, why does she have vegetables in her room? And this is just the easiest place for me to film. Um, so I'm filming it in here, but vegetables will be going to the kitchen. So the first thing that I got was this big bag of zucchini and I love zucchini. It is a staple for me. If I'm gonna have anything throughout the week, it's definitely gonna have zucchini in it. So I got this big bag of zucchini and this was 77 cents. So for all of these zucchini, they were only 77 cents. The next thing that I got were these Brussels sprouts and Brussels sprouts are definitely a staple for me also. And these were 47 cents. So this bag of Brussels sprouts only cost 47 cents. Then I got a little container of blueberries because the berries are low in carbs and I only eat like a few here and there so it's not many carbs at all um, and so yeah this was 150 and then I got some Persian cucumbers and these were 41 cents I got a bunch of kale which came out to be 50 cents and then I got cauliflower and this cauliflower ended up being 82 cents and then I got this big bag of broccoli and this cost me if I can find it, 52 cents. So that is a lot of broccoli for 52 cents. As you guys can see in that clip that I showed you at Ralph's, um, the broccoli there was 169 a pound um, versus three pounds for 99 cents at Super King, which was super phenomenal. Last thing that I got were these avocados. And so this bag of avocados cost me 99 cents, which is a really, really good deal because in the clip also from Ralph's that you guys saw, one individual avocado was 69 cents. So to get all of these for 99 cents, um, hello, such a good deal. So that's all the things that I got from Super King. Um, and then as you guys saw at Ralph's, I got a little package of meat. Um, I'm trying to stick to eating more vegetables this week and less meat, so I only got one pack of meat. And then these are the containers that you guys saw me buy at Big Lots. Now, I don't know of anywhere else that might have these cheaper. Um, if you don't have a Big Lots near you, sorry, I'll try to figure it out and post it down below in the description box for you if I can find that. 
Um, but basically, if you are just now starting to meal prep, I would suggest buying more than just two packs. I would buy like four packs um, to be on the safe side so you'll have 12 containers. Um, but yeah, so these were $2.25. I'll post a link to my most recent like how I meal prep video. I'm going to be posting another one, like a really in-depth one where I show you how I cook too. But I'll post the other ones down below in the description box so you can check it out. But yeah, these are the Tupperware containers that I buy and I will open it and show you that they, they just look like this on the inside. There are some that have like dividers and I like those but they didn't have any of those today. So yeah, that is basically my how-to like grocery shop video, how I grocery shop video. Like that's just how I do it so I suggest that. Like I said, making a list, finding out the stores that have it the cheapest, and going to those stores versus, um, you know, just going to one store that may be more expensive than another. So I'm going to have a list of stores that I know that have cheap, like, vegetables and fruits and things like that and post it down below in the description box for you. Um, and I'll post Super King also in the description box so you can see if there's one near you. Like, you can, like, punch in your zip code and it'll tell you. I'm going to be posting a video every day this week for, like, my little weight loss um, you know, series challenge things, so be on the lookout for that. I may post a video every day next week as well, um, just to kind of like get us started and have a ton of content out so you guys can really get started on the right foot with this whole thing. I will have a diet bet coming up soon. I think I'm going to have that next week as well, so I'll be posting my diet bet so you guys can look out for that and look forward to that. I'm really excited for that because I know that's really going to help motivate me also. Um, yeah, that's it for this video. I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Um, I hope you guys like it. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Do not forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and stuff and ask me all of the questions that you want to know on there. Actually, probably quicker on Twitter with through DM than I am with my Instagram DM. So if you follow me on Twitter and tweet me and tell me to follow you back, I will. And then we can just DM each other that way. Yeah. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Maybe I'll be like... Is that a good thumbnail, guys? I have no idea. Let me try that again. Don't freak or...